moments uh, during the course of this live newscast. All right, um, away from that, Kericho Governor Dr. Eric Mutua has been impeached because that one of the members of the county assembly unanimously voted against his leadership of an alleged gross violation of the constitution, abuse of office, and misuse of public resources, among other charges. Now, that impeachment motion was moved by Sigouet Ward Member of County Assembly, Kiprotech Rogoy. And as Bramwell Buire reports, the fate of the first term governor now lies with the Senate, which will either save him or seal his fate. Kiricho Governor Eric Mutai is the latest casualty of the impeachment move that has engulfed the entire nation. This is after 31 members of the Kiricho County Assembly unanimously voted for his impeachment on grounds of gross misconduct, abuse of office, and violation of the Constitution, among others. 16 MCAs, however, boycotted the impeachment debate. The impeachment motion proceeded despite embattled Governor Mutai having obtained a court order stopping the Assembly from debating and passing it. Speaker Patrick Mutai overruled the court order and directed the House to proceed with the matter. I give the direction that the two-thirds of the membership of this House required to pass the motion for impeachment of His Excellency the Governor is 31 members. The mover of the motion, Kiprotich Rogoni, claims to have evidence supporting allegations that Governor Mutai intimidates and harasses junior officers who disagrees with him. The governor is also accused of leading a mob to seize private land in Kiricho town that is used an approved dump site. I therefore declare that the motion is passed and the governor, Dr. Eric Kipkoyaj Mutai, stands Impeached. The governor, whose fate now lies in the Senate, joins 12 others who have faced similar motions since inception of their offices in 2013. Of the 12, only two, former Kiambu and Nairobi governors Ferdinand Raichetu and Mike Sonko were successfully removed from office. Bramwell Bire, Kaitian.